let's go hello everyone welcome to chess point today uh, we see the new opening which is mainly players played by uh, this is uh, this opening is a uh, sicilian defense uh, the sicilian defense is the most popular response to white of uh, move of uh, e4 Uh, employed by the master and the beginners alike, the Sicilian defense is a reputable and positionally sound opening. Still, the Sicilian is a combative opening that tends to the lead to dynamic and sad position. One of the oldest registered opening, the Sicilian is fully of theory and was used by most of the greatest players in history. World champions like GM Bobby Fischer, Gary Kasparov, Vishwanath Anand, Valmik Karmnik, and Magnus Carlsen are just a few of its adopter. So let's see uh, the starting position of uh, Sicilian defense. So the Sicilian defense uh, starts after the move of uh, e4. And uh, black uh, plays c5. When black chooses to imbalance the position from the start, black's uh, reason behind c5 to fight for their share of the center, especially uh, d4 square, uh, with a wing pawn. So black intends uh, to advance the D and E pawn later to control critical squares. Uh, frequently uh, white will uh, put pressure on one side of the board while uh, black uh, fight for their dominance over the other side. This dynamic usually creates a tactically rich game with more decisive results. So uh, what uh, we uh, benefit of uh, Sicilian defense is uh, creates unbalanced games. Uh, black has good attacking chances. It's an excellent opening to play when you need to win. And uh, what the consultant, uh, consultant uh, for players, uh, white has many ways uh, to meet the Sicilian. White gets uh, great attacking chances in the main variation. Uh, there is a lot of theory in this opening. So here are many uh, variations. So first of all, uh, main variation of Sicilian defense. Uh, in uh, being one of the oldest and most respected opening for uh, black, the Sicilian has an excessive amount of theory. Uh, there are numerous uh, variations, each of them dissected thoroughly. Uh, below you can see the uh, Sicilian defense uh, main lines, variation. <coughs> So, first of all, uh, we see the Sicilian defense closed variation. When uh, faced uh, with the Sicilian, white has the option of either opening or closing the position. Uh, the closed uh, variation is not the most common but is also widely popular and was one of the GM's Boris Spassi's uh, weapons of the choice with white. Uh, it uh, starts uh, after the move of e4, e5 and uh, White plays here uh, knight c3. Uh, when white signals they have no intention of immediately opening up the center, white will usually expand on the king side in the main line of this variation. So after this, uh, uh, we see the second variation, Sicilian defense open variation. The open variation is the most common uh, way for white to meet the Sicilian. Uh, it starts after the move of uh, e4, c5, uh, knight f3 here the change in this uh, open variation but when uh, close variation knight c3 uh, played but in open variation we play knight f3 uh, after this uh, d6 then uh, white plays uh, d4 c cut d4 
नाइट कट डी फोर सो दिस इज द ओपन वेरिएशन फर्स्ट मेथड बट अनदर मूव्स आर ऑल्सो देयर आफ्टर द मूव ऑफ ई फोर सी फाइव नाइट एफ थ्री वेयर ब्लैक प्लेस डी सिक्स हेयर द मूव चेंजेस बाय द नाइट सी सिक्स सो आफ्टर नाइट सी सिक्स वाइट कंक्लूशन द प्ले द मूव ऑफ डी फोर As the name suggests, uh, this variation leads to more open and tactical games. White will gain space and immediately fight over control of the center, uh, while black will enjoy a semi-open C file uh, and active piece play. So this is the second variation of uh, Sicilian defense. Uh, Sicilian defense uh, open variation. And now we see uh, the next variation is the Sicilian defense Nazdorov variation. The Nazdorov variation is one of the most popular lines in the Sicilian defense, and uh, was frequently used by the both uh, Fisher and Kasgrove. Uh, it start after the move of uh, after the move of e4. Uh, C5, uh, Knight uh, F3, D6. What in uh, close variation? And then D4, C cut D4. Knight cut d4. Then here comes uh, knight f6. This is the uh, valuation of uh, previous opening variation of open and closed uh, Sicilian defense. So after this, uh, sorry for that. Uh, knight c6, not knight f6. Uh, knight f6, then knight c3. And here comes uh, black with uh, a6. So black uh, uh, in fifth move a6 prepares uh, counter play on the queen side while uh, maintaining the flexibility. Heavily uh, theoretically, uh, this line usually leads to complex game with wealth of tactical possibilities. So then the next variation is Alpine variation. So this is also called uh, Sicilian defense Alpine variation. The Alpine variation happens after the move of uh, uh, e4, c5, and here comes the move uh, c3. So white in second move c3 prepares the d2 and uh, d4 pawn advance with the dom, uh, downside that the uh, c3 square will no longer be available for the knight. This line is excellent for players who want to avoid the massive amount of theory behind other variation. So after this uh, various moves uh, comes here with uh, d5. E cut d5, queen cut d5, knight f3, e5, d4, c cut d4, c cut d4, e cut d4, queen cut d4, so here you see how uh, uh, the game is uh, not on positional game. This game is just like open game. So this is the uh, Sicilian uh, defense Al Alpine variation. So next uh, we see the Sicilian defense dragon variation. The one of the most uh, famous uh, variation in Sicilian defense. The dragon variation occurs after the move of uh, e4, c5. Uh, knight f3 
then uh, d6 d4 c cut d4 knight cut d4 knight f6 knight c3 g6 so black uh, hit their dark square bishop attacking the center and the queen side this position is one of the most aggressive for black in its most uh, critical lines uh, black castles king side and white castle queen side with both player raising to checkmate first so here we see what after this move here comes uh, bishop e3 and then uh, the dragon starts with uh, bishop uh, g7 f3 uh, knight e6 queen d4 double zero g4 here see how uh, uh, here uh, white uh, plans to attack the king side where after the castling of black uh, here comes the move of uh, h5 g5 knight d7 and here comes the triple zero so these are the uh, moves in the sicilian defense dragon variation one of the most aggressive for black uh, here what we uh, see uh, black castling the king side and uh, uh, white castling the queen side uh, with both players racing to checkmate first here you see how uh, black tries to attacking the queen side of uh, white and white tries to attacking the king side of the black for their checkmate so here comes the next variation is sicilian defense french variation so sicilian uh, defense french variation of the starts after the move of uh, e4 c5 uh, knight f3 and uh, here comes the move of black with uh, e6 so black option for a more flexible setup usually avoiding the more tactical slime of the sicilian after this uh, several other well-known variation like the tamino uh, four knight and uh, paulson can arise so this is the uh, the main variation of sicilian defense first we see uh, a sicilian defense open variation then we see sicilian defense close variation then we see sicilian defense uh, alpine variation then we see sicilian defense uh, dragon variation and then we see uh, sicilian defense french variation so uh, and also we see Nazdorov variation of Sicilian defense. So these are the main uh, variation of Sicilian defense. So if uh, um, uh, anyone uh, tries uh, this move in tournament, uh, if uh, then you focus on uh, positionally uh, setup and uh, more to avoid the uh, there the chances of counter attack in. Uh, uh, for white and both for black so after this uh, uh, let's uh, know about the history of the sicilian defense the sicilian defense is the one of the oldest known opening in chase the italian player polio mentioned the opening in 1594 which was also analyzed later by the other indian players uh, sorry other uh, italian players uh, the match between Louis Charles and uh, Alexander McDonnell uh, for the unofficial title of world champion helped popularize the opening in 1834. 
the opening is starting uh, surging in popularity by the second half of the 20th century with the players like uh, GM Alexander Ricardo, Bent Larsen, Mark Tamnov, and Mikhail Tal. Adopting the opening, later former world champion Fischer and Kasparov cemented and uh, the opening reputation as one of the best option against E4. So here is the we see uh, Sicilian defense starting position. Uh, Sicilian defense main variations and its lines and uh, history of the Sicilian defense. So next time we see uh, the uh, minis uh, games on uh, this opening and its variation. So bye.